Hello everyone, my name is Sopran Mongar, student of Sikkim Government College, Namchi. Today, I'm gonna discuss in this video spray pyrolysis and the advantages and disadvantages and the different types of spray pyrolysis and the method of spray pyrolysis. So, first of all, Spray pyrolysis technique is a wonderful method of material science, a simple and inexpensive method of preparing thin film and thick film, ceramic coating and metal and metal oxide powder in large scale of spray pyrolysis. Any element can be easily doped in the required ratio via solution medium in this method. It is a simple and cost effective processing method in which different types of material can be deposited into thin films from spray pyrolysis <coughs> form. Spray pyrolysis is a thermally stimulated reaction and the main component of spray pyrolysis equipment are as uh, like uh, first one is atomizer and precursor, so, uh, precursor solution and temperature controller and substrate heater. And <coughs> the spray pyrolysis, the pyrolysis means Decomposition of, decomposition of chemical compounds or solutions under the action of heat at very high temperatures. Actually, pyrolysis word is originated from pyro means heat and lysis means breaking. Thus, pyrolysis means change under the action of heat. The breaking of part of complex molecule into simple unit by the use of heat is called pyrolysis or spray pyrolysis is a technique that requires a precursor solution for example TiCl3 or T4 and a heated substrate and atomizer. In this process the solution is atomized in small drops and these droplets are transferred to the heated substrate due to gas and, and that generates thin flames. Now the spray process involve spraying of solution or natural oil or carbon precursor as the oil of various constituent atoms of desired compounds element on heated substrate that is maintained at elevated temperature. The spray of very fine droplet of solution filled in the spray gun is achieved by the spray nozzle with the help of carrier gas. So, here I have mentioned some spray pyrolysis steps. The first step is transforming liquid precursor or solution into micro size droplet. We have to transfer the precursor solution, liquid precursor or solutions into micro size droplet. And second, so when making solvent to evaporate, we have to make solvent to evaporate and allowing solute to condense and making the solute to decompose and react sintering the solid particles. Now the different types of spray pyrolysis techniques. Some new and modified advanced spray atomization spray pyrolysis technique are given below. Electrostatic spray pyrolysis first one and second one is corona spray pyrolysis and third one is micro <coughs> processor spray based spray pyrolysis ultrasonic nebulizer automation improved spray hydrolysis and spray pyrolysis method spray pyrolysis method is based on forming an aerosol from various precursor solution which could be a solution of metallic salt or a colloidal solution the generated solution droplet aerosol are the very rapidly heated in a furnace at given temperature thus processing several stages <coughs> first sta stages is evaporation of the solvent from the surface of the droplet and second and uh, drying the droplet containing the precipitated solute and third is the aniline of the precipitate at high temperature thermolysis fourth one is 
formation of micro porous particle of defined phase composition and formation of solid particle and last one is sintering of solid particles now description of spt equipment spt is standard penetration test the schematic diagram of the spray pyrolysis technique it consists of mainly uh, nozzle spray nozzle first one is spray nozzle and rotor of rotor for spray nozzle with <coughs> speed controller and liquid level monitor hot plate with temperature controlling arrangement and gas regulator valve air tight metallic chamber and substrate etc first one spray nozzle it is made up of glass and consists of the inner solution tube surrounded by the gas tube through which carrier gas flow with the application of pressure to the carrier gas a vacuum is created at the tip of the nozzle and the solution is automatically soaked and the spray started and <coughs> motor for spray nozzle motor for spray nozzle an electric car wiper 12 volt to 2 ampere is used to rotate the spray nozzle uh, along with the speed controller it is the diagram of spray pyrolysis and liquid level monitor <coughs> you will see the liquid level monitor the the spray rate at fixed pressure depend on the height of the solution measured with the reference to the tip of the nozzle and the arrangement for the change in height of the solution forms liquid level monitor and hot plate here we have hot plate the iron disc with diameter 16 centimeter and thickness 0.7 centimeter was supported on the electric heater maximum temperature up to 600 degrees celsius can be obtained with this arrangement and gas regulator valve gas regulator valve the gas regulator valve was used to control the pressure of the gas coming a coming gas tube of length 35 centimeter and a diameter is 1.5 centimeter were you know, converted into a gas flow meter So, so formation of thin film droplet during SPT process, standard penetration technology process. In spray pyrolysis, precursor solution is atomized through a nozzle. Uh, the nozzle converts the solution into small droplets known as aerosol. The nozzle will convert the solution into a small droplet and it will called it will called as a aerosol and, and these aerosols are allowed to incident onto the preheated substrate the pyrolytic decomposition of the aerosol depends on substrate temperature the formation of thin films with desired properties are possible only at optimum substrate temperature now various step during pyrolysis of aerosols are summarized as a uh, first one is uh, in first step an aqueous precursor solution is converted into aerosol by spray nozzle and second solvent evaporation take place in the second step vaporization of the solvent lead to precipitate formation as the droplet aerosols approach the substrate and fourth step pyrolysis of the precipitate occurs in succession before the precipitate reaches the substrate in step 5 when the precipitate reaches the substrate nucleation and growth of metal oxide thin films finally growth of the nuclei leads to the formation of continuous thin layer of metal oxide and critical spray parameters of standard penetration test the first one substrate temperature the substrate temperature is the most important decomposition parameter and spray rate 
Spirit is another important parameter which influences the property of film formed. And precursor solution. Precursor solution plays a vital role in the formation of thin films of various compound. And the nature of precursor solution. Precursor solution plays a vital role. At the nature of precursor solution. Precursor use for spraying is also very important and it affects the flame properties to a great extent <clears throat> and angle and height of spray held this parameter is also important because it can also influence the properties of deposited flames each nozzle has a spraying angle now substrate cleaning substrate cleaning is the process of breaking bonds between substrate and contaminate contaminant without damaging the substrate in thin flame deposition process substrate cleaning is an important factor to get reproducible flame as it affects the smoothness uniformly adherence and porosity of the flames the substrate cleaning process depend upon the nature of substrates now first the substrates were washed with detergent solution labeling and with the water and this substrate were boiled in chromic acid for five minutes and substrate were cleaned with double distilled water etc and advantages and disadvantages of uh, spray pyrolysis so apart from its simplicity spray pyrolysis technique has a number of advantages spray pyrolysis is a simple and low cost technique for the preparation of semiconductor thin flames it offers an extremely easy way to dope flame with virtually any element in proportion by merely adding it in some form of the spray solution it has a capability to produce large area high quality adherent film of uniform thickness spray pyrolysis does not require high quality target does not it require vacuum at any stages which is great advantages if the technique is to be scaled up for industrial application the decomposition rate and thickness of the film can be easily controlled over a wide range by changing spray parameter so with this, I would like to uh, conclude my video. Thank you.